Eric, I get a lot of questions on what kind of angles can you mount your shocks at? You know, mm -hmm. a lot of guys just putting, say, a different rear end housing, narrow rear end housing, or building a tube chassis. They want to know what the questions is, is how much can you lean a shock in, spring in, mm -hmm. and how does it affect it? The angle definitely affects not only the damping rate of the shock, but it also affects the spring. So if you lean that shock in, let's say into the center line of the, of the race car at 10 degrees, um, you know, there's a correction factor there of about eight to 10%. Okay. If you lay it in a little bit further, say like 30 degrees, and that kind of simulates like an OEM rear shock kind of a thing mm -hmm. on a, on a, on a G body or maybe an A body, um, there's 25%. Uh, reduction in not only spring rate, but the damping rate of the shock. Okay. So if you're thinking about, I wanted to put a hundred pound spring on my car with the shock straight up and down, but you've got it laid over 30 degrees. Right. You're going to have to put a 125 pound spring on that application so that the car feels like it's got a hundred. So you have to go up in spring rate when you lean the thing over. Okay. So your chassis sense. tuner, if he recommends a hundred pound spring, mm -hmm. But in your application, it's laid in 30 degrees. You need Absolutely. 125 pounds. Going to need a 125, right. Okay, and good. then also, you know, you're going to probably have to put a little more damping rate into the shock. You're going to have to put a few more clicks in because a lot of times we compare our car to somebody else's. So you and I are at right. the racetrack. If we don't take into account that Rex's shock straight up and down and mine's leaned over and I use the same number of clicks as you're going to use and, and my shock's leaned over, I'm probably going to be under dampened, so that that's definitely going to be an effect. So, just want to take take that into account. Okay, I see a lot of the ladder bar cars seem like they have the the shocks and strings more straight up, but mm -hmm. most of your four link cars have them laid in a bit because of the mounting factors and stuff. With yeah, them, so. and and in the the rear end housings that you know the brackets maybe aren't exactly straight up and down mm -hmm. because you're you've got the chassis built five years ago. Now we're going to put a, a new rear end in it, and so sometimes that stuff doesn't always line up. It's okay to have a off, offset a little bit or leaned in a little bit. It just helps to understand what, what the effects are. Okay. And the same way on the the effects for and aft, like if it's lean towards the front of the car or lean towards the back of the car, it's the same deal. You got to figure off the same principle mm -hmm. or the same math. Yeah. Just put an angle finder on there or the app on your phone and just check the angle and, you know, act accordingly. I think the AFCO in the drag race book and the oval track book, I think they actually have a chart in there. Mm -hmm that gives you the dimensions and everything and, and how to formulate it. Absolutely, the correction factor is there.